This is an awesome event. And when you consider that Jeff Conine and his wife Cindy have hosted this event for now 30 years, the impact that they've made on their community is uh, substantial. The Jeff Conine All-Star Golf Classic is an annual fundraiser. It helps underwrite expenses at Conine Clubhouse, which is a facility next to Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital where families can stay for free when a child is being treated. They've raised nearly $8 million and uh, more than 25,000 families have benefited from this. And this is their big fundraiser. It's coming up Monday. And Jeff joins us on the program today to talk about it. Jeff, this is really great. Congratulations on this thing, man. 30 years. This dates back to, uh, you know, prime racquetball Jeff Conine starting this event as a young bull. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, crazy to think that I've been doing this for, whoa, where did you get that footage? Whoa. We had to hit you with this right off the, right off the bat. <laughs> there it is. Old school right there. Um, yeah, 30 years, uh, over half my life, uh, have been doing this tournament. And when we first got with the Marlins back in 1993, the community relations department came to us and said, hey, we'd like to get you out there in the community. What would you like to do? My wife, Cindy, and I said, uh, we'd like to do something with children that has to do with children. So... I got invited to a lunch over the Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, and actually the Dodgers were in town, and I had lunch with uh, Tommy Lasorda was invited as well, and uh, Mr. Joe DiMaggio. So I got to hang out with him. Uh, got to know him pretty well, actually, as far as uh, an adult. Uh, got to be close to Joe DiMaggio. Uh, he loved the kids, but uh, adults he was a little leery of. But, um, you know, it was, a, it was a baseball player's dream to be involved with that. Wow. That's really cool. I mean, uh, the, what you're doing, the, the cause that you're helping, um, particularly, you know, families who, uh, you know, have to be there for, for treatments for their children and, and giving them a place to stay, that really hits home. I know you mentioned that uh, you just kind of picked, uh, you know, something for kids. Was there any kind of story related to, to um, you know, to this cause that, that kind of touched you? Or was it just the fact that, you know, just trying to help kids and families in, in need? Yeah, it was basically that, uh, but obviously the baseball connection, Joe DiMaggio Joe Children's Hospital, and I got to meet uh, Mr. DiMaggio, and, and the, the organization is just uh, remarkable. You know, I, I've been on World Series teams, but this team of professionals they have at this hospital is absolutely remarkable, and um, we actually had to use the clubhouse. Uh, my son uh, was, my youngest son was born prematurely uh, by three months, and after he got home, he correct. Uh, uh, contracted uh, RSV, which is very popular right now, uh, respiratory disease, and he had to go into the hospital. And we actually used the Conine Clubhouse uh, for a week while he was being treated. So we realized uh, how important it is to be right next to your kid when in their, um, you know, going through a medical emergency. And, you know, since the Children's Hospital have uh, undergone, they're, they're doing transplants now, heart transplants. We've had families that have stayed uh, over a year in the clubhouse waiting for their heart to come in. Wow. Uh, what an amazing thing that you're, you're doing here. And we've got a list of uh, past attendees for this event. We were just visiting with you during the commercial. This is like uh, it's South Florida sports royalty that comes to this. Who's on the list this year? Who's on the list this year? We got uh, Alonzo Mornings coming out, uh, Carlos Boozer, um, myself, obviously, I don't consider myself a celebrity, but um, I've got some good names as always. We give away a ton of stuff. It's it's one of the most uh, fun golf event days you're ever going to have. And um, you know what? Uh, it's all about the kids, and, and people have a great time. And we keep selling out every single year. So uh, we're going to break a record this year again. We're, we're hoping to raise, uh, we're probably going to raise over half a million dollars. If, is there any way that the folks at home that are watching this, if they're moved by this, they want to, you know, take part or, or, or make a donation? Is there any way for them to do that? Yeah, you can go to uh, JDCH. Um, it's the Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital Foundation uh, website, Memorial Hospital in Hollywood, Florida. And the uh, Jeff Conan All-Star Golf Classic. Um, you know, we're sold out right now, but you can get, there's a button on there that you can donate to. And, you know, it's... Uh, People that, that know this community, know J Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, uh, know that it's uh, the hospital to go to. And, and like I said, they're just a remarkable organization that do remarkable work. Jeff, we want to talk about the current Marlins a little bit, but I, I want to I ask you something about your own playing career because um, as a Marlins Hall of Famer, uh, the two franchise World Series titles, you've got rings from both of those teams. Very different stories behind each of them for you, right? I mean, you were a foundational member of the team back in the early days, and in 97, there were a bunch of superstars on that roster. 
Uh, in 03, you come back after beginning the season in Baltimore and win a World Series again with the Marlins. How do you look back at each of those, those title runs? Because they were very different for you, I'm sure. Yeah, very different. Like you said, uh, in 1997, our then owner, Wayne Huizinga, uh, gave Dave Dombrowski an open wallet. He said, I want you to construct the best team you can possibly do. I want to go for the World Series right now. And he did. He went out. Uh, he got Jim Leland as our manager. Uh, he got Bobby Bonilla. We had Moses Galou, Gary Sheffield, uh, Edgar Renteria at shortstop. Uh, Darren Dalton was a late addition during the, the course of that season. We had an all-star team, like you said. And we did. We, we were a very professional, uh, very experienced team that uh, marched through everybody and, and won the World Series, where when you fast forward to 2003, now it's a, a very young team, unproven uh, talent. We had a 20 year old Miguel Cabrera. That was actually, you know, how that ended up. Uh, you had a sensation and Dontrell Willis on the mound. Josh Beckett was uh, one of the best competitors, fiercest competitors I've ever played with. But I will say that when I arrived at this team, I didn't really know anybody. Um, but I will say it's the, the most fun I've ever had on a baseball field. These guys knew how to have fun. Uh, no one ever thought we were out of a game at any time. We had a blast playing. Miguel Cabrera was walking around Yankee Stadium and uh, opening the World Series and just treated it like it was another game. And that, that was the, the hallmark of that team is we just had fun and, and treated every game the same. Jeff, you mentioned, you know, the, the young Marlins now, too. And uh, I look at this team, and I think they've got the capability of really surprising a lot of people, particularly with that starting rotation um, and, and having the ability to, to do what they did last year and then some. If they can certainly add a bat, maybe a couple pieces of the bullpen. But where do you see – you've been covering this team for a long time. Where do you see this team, and, and where do you think they can go, at, uh, whether it's adding pieces or just where do you think they can go as far as expectations for this season? Yeah, I think we'd like to, obviously, everybody would like to add some pieces, add some offense. Uh, when you took, talk about the rotation that we have, it was, you know, a big blow when uh, Sandy Alcantara got uh, sidelined with Tommy John surgery. But we also have, you know, Jesus Lazardo, which is one of the, the best left-handed young pitchers in baseball right now. Braxton Garrett had a great year. Uh, we got Max Meyer, who is a rising star that had Tommy John a couple years ago. He's going to be back in the mix this year. And Yuri Perez, who had one of the most phenomenal rookie seasons you're ever going to see. Uh, this kid's going to be a superstar. So uh, with our construction of our team, I think it's going to be more pitching speed and defense uh, is going to be what we're going to see. And Peter Bendix, uh, our new president of baseball ops, just came in from Tampa. You know, they've got some magic sauce over there. We're hoping to sprinkle a little bit of that over here in South Florida to uh, to capture the success that that organization's had for such a long time. Hey, can I get back to – I want to get back to one thing because it's been on my mind ever since you said you used to hang out with Joe D. Did he ever talk – do you ever ask him about being married to Marilyn Monroe? Did that ever come up? That, that was one subject that you were not supposed to breach. Uh, oh, really? That was uh, – that I was briefed on early on. He said, do not talk about Marilyn Monroe or he'll never talk to you again. Wow. That's yeah. a disclosure statement. He had to you know, yeah. hand that over before he came to yeah, the event. Pretty much okay. sign, sign this piece of paper right here. And if you ever talk about it, <laughs> you're dead to him. You're dead to him. Uh, hey, lastly, um, our former uh, colleague and your current colleague, Paul Severino, uh, very dry, by the way. Uh, is he allowed to attend because he likes the free swag or does he have to pay his own way? You know what? He's new to the team, and uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work your way in. Uh, this year, he's not um, not allowed on the course, but uh, <laughs> I will possibly slide him a hat or maybe a T-shirt or something like that. We'll we'll get him in the fold next year for sure. Excellent, Jeff. Uh, we appreciate the time today, man. Congratulations to you and your wife and your entire team for putting this thing together for 30 years. The impact on the community is substantial, and and we really appreciate you, man. Have fun on Monday. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on, guys.